Good evening, everyone. Welcome today to celebrate our devotion to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us pray for all our intentions, for the people who ask for our prayers as well, that Mary, who always cares about us, who always uh, help us intercede for all our needs. Let us start praying. Mother of Perpetual Help, your very name inspires confidence. We come before your holy picture in praise and thanksgiving to God, seeking your intercession with Jesus, your Son, for all the needs of our lives today. As we proclaim Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer, you answer when called to be Mother of our Lord. Obtain for us the grace to be alive to our baptismal call, and especially to embrace the gospel of life and to respect of life on earth. Your wonders and your Son grow in wisdom, knowledge, and grace. Intercede for us so that we welcome the Word of God in our lives and be bearers of the good news to one and all. You delight at your Son, heal the sick. Intercede for our sick, that they may receive good health, and that they in their turn may be healers to others. You enjoy peace as your Son comforted the afflicted. Intercede for all who suffer, so that they may know that we carry their burdens with them, and in this way we keep the law of Christ. You rejoice as your sons forgive sins. Obtain for us the forgiveness of our sins, and lead us to unbind others and set them free. You suffer at the wounds your Son endured for our salvation. Help us to be brokenhearted and to give hope to the dawn trodden. You exalt us in your Son's resurrection. Obtain for us the grace to persevere in his way all the days of our life and be granted a place in heaven. You are the first of all the disciples and saints. We trust in your motherly love and care. Obtain for us. We need to fulfill God's plans each day in our lives. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never is what is known, that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unheeded. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O virgins, O virgins, our mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the world incarnate, despite and not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins, and especially as in the last days, Jesus feel a little frustration about the response of the people from his message. And today he has the same attitude but he thanks God for all people who listen to him, for all people who are good witness to their brothers and sisters. Let us ask for the forgiveness of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I gravely sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I am failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I just blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, the brave of me, the Lord our God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us 
to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who had prepared for those who love you good things with no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and about all things, we may attain your promises. We surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Ah, Assyria, the rod of my anger, the club in their hands is my fury. Against a godless nation I send them, and against the people of my wrath I command him to take spoil and seize plunder and to thread them down like the mire of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. But it is his heart to destroy and to cut off nations, not a few. For the Lord says, by the strength of my hand, I have done it and by my wisdom, for I have understanding. I have removed the boundaries of peoples and have plundered their treasures. Like a bull, I have brought down those who sat on thrones. My hand has found, like a nest, the wealth of the peoples. And as one gathers eggs, and have been forsaken. So I have gathered all the earth, and there was none that moved a wing or opened its mouth or chirped. Shall the ax vault itself over the one who wields it, or the saw magnify itself against the one who handles it? as if a rod should raise the one who lifts it up, or as if a staff should lift the one who is not wood. Therefore the Sovereign, the Lord of hosts, will send wasting sickness among his stout warriors, and under his glory a burning will be kindled like the burning of fire. The word of the Lord. The Lord will not abandon his people. The proud crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. They kill the widow and the stranger. They murder the orphan. They say, the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob does not perceive. Understand, O dullest of people, fools, when will you be wise? He who planted the ear does not hear. He who formed the eye does not see. He who disciplines the nations, he who teaches knowledge to human beings, does he not chastise? The Lord will not forsake his people. He will not abandon his heritage. For justice will return to the righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent, and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. At a critical moment in Matthew's Gospel, when Jesus finds his ministry largely rejected in Galilee, he nevertheless praises his Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Even as Jesus was experiencing rejection from many of the towns of Galilee, he knew there was much to give thanks and praise to God for. There are times in our own lives when nothing seems to be going well for us. We feel disappointment and hurt at how others are relating to us. However, even in such moments, there is always something for which we can give thanks and praise to God. If we look at our situation with the eyes of faith, we will always find some sign of God's grace and favor for which we can give thanks. In the first letter to the Thessalonians, Paul says, give thanks in all circumstances. He doesn't say, say give thanks for all circumstances, but in all circumstances. Paul is reminding us that even when our faith in God is being put to the test, we find, la we find life a struggle. There is always something for which we can give thanks. In the face of uh, the opposition and uh, hostility, Jesus gives thanks to God because in his ministerial plan, it is the babies in the file of religion, the poor, the tax collectors, the sinners, rather than the experts in the law who are open and receptive to God's revelation of himself through Jesus. It is they who have the poverty of spirit to receive what God is offering. Sometimes the trials and struggles of life can help us to become more like children in the sense of opening us up more fully to all blessings and graces that God continues to shower upon us through Jesus. This is something for which we can certainly give thanks. And if we look in our lives, in our relationships, I think we have many, many reasons to give thanks to God. Just because we can breathe, just because we can walk, because we have a family, because we can gather here in this uh, place to celebrate the presence of God in the Eucharist and in our community. I invite you this week just to spend some minutes, maybe at the morning or before you go to bed, to thank God for something. Struggles as, as well, difficulties as well, because from them 
we learn a lot and we grow. God bless us in our lives. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you changed water into wine in Cana in Galilee. Hear our prayers and grant our petitions in honor of our mother of perpetual help. Grant wisdom and courage to all our religious and civil leaders. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, and all who lead us, we pray. Dear Lord Mary, our mother. Grant peace, unity, and good harvests in all the world, especially in places of conflict, war, famine, and need, we pray. Grant marriage couples the grace of their sacrament, wives and husbands a binding love for each other, parents the grace to welcome and cherish their children, single parent families, unity and strength, and peace and blessings on all our homes, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to our single adults fulfillment in their call, to our young people success in their endeavors, and courage to witness to their faith, to our elderly vitality, security, and contentment in their days, and to the separated and divorced, the grace of your spirit, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant workers confidence in their work, dignity in their accomplishments, joy in their contributions, a just and living wage, and to the unemployed, grant gainful work, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to your church many laborers for the harvest, good priests, deacons, brothers, sisters, and laity, who will dedicate their lives to your faithful people, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal life to all the deceased, especially Kenneth Edwards, Jimmy Goff, and Josephine McCarthy, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they obtain a place in the communion of the saints, where every tear shall be wiped away, and where we shall meet you, our God, face to face, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to each of us the grace to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with, e with you each day of our lives. For whatever we do to the least of our sisters or brothers, we do to you, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Yesterday, Father Barrett, the pastor of Corpus Christi, passed away. We pray for uh, him, for the eterna his eternal peace. We pray for his family and as well for uh, Corpus Christi's family who um, are uh, grave these uh, situations. That God receive him in the place that he prepared for him and bless his children and the parish, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. God of mercy and compassion, hear and answer the, these prayers along with the intentions had been placed before the icon of our mother of perpetual help. 
seeking her intercession, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> For to your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and what could human hands. It did become our spirit. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless the God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, through the vine and what got human hands. It did become our spiritual drink. Oh Lord, watch my iniquity and clean from my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lip are your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have not need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our prayers add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are your full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as one for the disciples, so now for us, he opened the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, 
broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which could given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people. Together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and the whole other bishops, that in the world torn by strife, your people might shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known, and meet them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrims is done, that we come to one eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Amen. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to receive the Santa my Lord, but only see the world, and the Son shall be held. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. May partakers of uh, Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Lord Jesus Christ, and of Mary, your perpetual help, be with you to defend you, within you to sustain you, before you to lead you, behind you to protect you, and about you to bless you all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in peace. Good evening for everyone.